A photograph by Shirley Towson. This poem is a part of class 11 CBSE curriculum, the first poem in the textbook Hornbill. In this lesson, I am going to discuss the theme of the poem. Then, I will give a brief summary along with a critical appreciation. The poem, A Photograph, is a tribute that Shirley Towson pays to her dead mother. The theme of the poem. The poem deals with the theme of loss of a loved one to death, of grief because of that loss and bereavement and the impact that it leaves on those who are left behind which means those who remain alive and as I said it is a tribute to the poet's mother one day she finds an old photograph of her mother pasted on a cardboard sheet a photograph that she remembers her mother talking about with fondness and a photograph that evokes pleasant memories in her mind. What is the significance of photographs? Why are they so precious for us? Well, photographs capture a moment in time and also the emotions that were felt when the photograph was taken. This particular photograph shows her mother playing on a beach accompanied by her two girl cousins. Let's understand the poem. The cardboard means the photograph shows the narrator how it was on that particular day, which means the day on which the photograph was clicked, the day on which these three girl cousins went for paddling on the beach. The cardboard's lack of durability hints at the lack of permanence of human life. The day when the poet's mother along with her two girl cousins went paddling on the beach. Each of the cousins held one of her mother's hands. Her mother was the eldest amongst them. She was about 12 years old at that time. All three of them stood smiling. Their hair was strewn across their faces, possibly tossed by the beach wind or water. As her mother's uncle clicked their picture with a camera, at that time her mother's face was sweet. Sweet because she was just 12 years old at that time. And the picture was taken much before the narrator was born. The scene in the picture still looks the same. It has changed very less. And, and in the picture, the sea seemed to wash their feet. Feet are by nature transient. It means that human life is short-lived as compared to nature. Some 20-30 years later from when the picture was clicked, her mother looked at the snapshot and laughed. Why did she laugh? Because the photograph evoked some happy memories in her mind. She pointed out at her cousin Betty and Dolly and talked nostalgically of how oddly they used to be dressed for the beach. The sea holiday was remembered by her mother with a sense of fondness as well as a sense of loss. Why? Because that time would never return. Similarly, the happy memory in the poet's mind of seeing her mother's laughter would never return to her. Hence, the sea holiday is referred to as the narrator's mother's past and the mother's laughter while she looked at the photograph is referred to 
as the narrator's past both these pasts that is the sea holiday as well as the laughter of her mother both these past incidents have a happy element in it at the same time the fact that they are not there any longer evokes a sense of loss hence both of them the mother as well as the daughter have put in a lot of effort to reduce the pain of this loss to ease in that sense of loss labored and easy are opposite words that are describing the same entity loss here the loss of the holiday and the laughter was easy because these things have to be accepted as a part of life they are merely a part of the past now and cannot be either brought back or relived and because these happy moments cannot be relived there will always be some difficulty in letting them go completely hence these conditions will always be seen as a loss now it has been 12 years since her mother passed away the girl in the photograph seems like a different person altogether and that's why the poet refers to the mother as that girl and about the fact that her mother has passed away leaving behind nothing but memories and photographs like this one and about this particular situation nothing can be said it is a part of life and on thinking about it one really has no words to express how one feels the silence of the whole situation silences the poet and leaves her quiet the camera has thus managed to capture a moment in time it kept the memory of the mother and for the mother alive the sea holiday brought a sad smile to the mother's face because she could not relive it but was glad that she once had lived such a happy moment similarly thinking of her mother's laughter brought a sad smile to the poet's face because although that laughter was now gone she was glad to have once had it in her life nature is perennial while human life is temporary or transient there are three stages that are expressed in this poem the first stage is the photograph which shows the poet's mother standing at the beach enjoying her holiday with her two girl cousins she was about 12 years old at that time second stage takes us 20 or 30 years later the mother would laugh at the way she and her cousins betty and dolly were dressed up for the beach holiday the third stage is when the poet has already lost her mother the mother is dead and she remembers her mother with a heavy heart the photograph revives a nostalgic feeling in the poet the happy moments have passed away but the memories of those bygone moments live fondly in the heart forever and she recalls